When my grandfather came to our farm back in the 30s, he came with horses and he grew oats to feed those horses. So, you know, those those horses were his power. That took him to town and pulled his plow. And and now we're growing, you know, a, an oil crop, which which is our power now. And it's just a, a different time, a different technology, but it's kind of the same thing all over again. Making biodiesel is nothing new. We're not inventing anything. It's growing it and. Uh, from start to finish on the farm is what's really exciting. I can envision being some small producer groups in four or five locations around the state uh, so we aren't transporting seeds long distances. The infrastructure is, is slowly coming together to be able to produce biodiesel. Growing the oil seed and making our own biodiesel last year we were 100% self-sufficient on fuel, so we uh, ran all our equipment, all our diesel tractors on biodiesel, and we didn't buy any diesel fuel at all, so it was really gratifying to be able to do that and not be dependent on foreign oil or whatever you want, and uh, we're doing this for $1.71 a gallon, so that's the real exciting part of it, it's real economical also. We're looking at 450, 465 a gallon off-road diesel, and you figure that uh, if you can process that crop into something that makes it a value-added product rather than strictly a commodity. We could uh, sustain our farm's business model much easier using biodiesel in our, in our annual operations with our crop as opposed to just strictly selling the uh, crop on the open market. Biodiesel became a realizable goal for us where we could contribute to our energy use on the farm. And we had the equipment and the growing knowledge to go ahead and attempt that. I became interested in oil seeds in 2004. Um, as fuel prices began to rise, farmers started to think about how they were gonna cut fuel costs. And one of the logical um, ideas that farmers came up with and very innovative was to produce their own fuel. So we started to work collectively, collaboratively with the farming community to figure out if we actually could grow our own fuel here in Vermont. I really believe that doing biodiesel is probably the cheapest investment a farmer can make to be self-sufficient on an energy source, which is biodiesel. This is biodiesel. This is biodiesel. This is biodiesel. This is biodiesel.